Hello, it's Andy Graham with the Yes Andy Show. I've traveled nonstop for 16 plus years and went to 90 countries. Okay, David K. Um, ask a question. Hi Andy, thanks for letting me know and hope all is well with you. I wrote him to say I'm going to make a video about his eternal spring. I have been, <coughs> he wants to know where to go for eternal spring. Okay, I kind of let this question slide for a long time because uh, I knew I was in a place that's got eternal spring. I have been focusing on teaching tennis and haven't seen any of your videos for a while. To be specific, the et eternal spring question <coughs> is to find ideal climates for healthy living, clean air, water, fresh food, etc. Also, bonus would be low cost of living and lots of people to play tennis with. Um, I think strangely, the best, the most, I, I live in Orland, Indiana in the United States and uh, it has almost everything he's talking about except for it's not eternal spring. Uh, <coughs> if you want it's real easy really to just leave the cities and you're going to find some really clean air, clean fresh food, etc. Uh, but on the planet the eternal spring question is <coughs> the places where I've seen this is is at 5,000 feet above the elevation in the tropics that's 23 and a half degrees below the equator to 23 and a half degrees above the equator maybe somewhere north of that. Uh, Lake Chapala in Mexico, I think is at fifth, this, this level. Uh, Lago Atalan, Guatemala is at this level. Uh, Baguio, Philippines is at this level. Uh, Boquete, uh, Panama is at this level. Vilcabamba, Ecuador, and the reason why I'm here is at that level. Um, basically, it's kind of like spring, it's going to be cool kind of in the morning and it's going to rain a lot. <laughs> so, uh, the um, Medellin, Colombia is at this level. The whole plateau between Addis Ababa to Lake Victoria is really at 1,300 meters. Well, I'm thinking in meters. It's about probably 4,600 feet or something like that. So little. And uh, there's, there's places, there's many places. The problem is, is to have something to do in a way. And I'm actually talking with my friend Eric, and we're trying to make a map of this on a world on a world basis where we could get better on this, where we could really even find some places where they're they're not really known. Uh, the places I just known are sort of sometimes overdeveloped, and if you if you really think about it, um, finding the better place is the place where, which isn't known so well, but just known a little bit. And this is a problem like Vilcabamba is very, very busy. There's a lot of gringos here. Uh, but uh, he also wants a lot of people to play tennis. Okay, the only place I know where you might be able to play tennis and have eternal spring is Baguio, Philippines. It's in the north Luzon Island. It's north of uh, Angeles City or about five hours in a bus. It's not really that far, but it's the, the traffic goes slow, so slow in the Philippines that it could. But, uh, it's uh, you fly into Manila or you fly into Clark Air Force Base, and uh, Clark would be the closest one. And then it's just like three or four hours north of there, and up in the mountains. And what's nice is that you can go down the hill right to the ocean, and within like an hour, and you can be down all the way to the ocean. So it's a really pretty ideal. It does rain a lot though, but uh, that's the only place I would know where they have tennis. Um, but uh, I would think they play tennis. I don't know they play tennis. I will keep trying to find these. And if you really study my travels for the last 16 years, you'll see that I always try to look for paradise climates. Okay. And what's interesting is there's always like, you know, spring in America. It's the ideal climate. It's just that it doesn't stay. Uh, where I'm at right now in Vilcabamba, Ecuador, is one of the paradise climates. I go, I've been many times to Lake Atalan, Guatemala, and of course I think that's a really excellent place to have a paradise climate. Um, strangely, um, I don't know of any of these places except Medellin, Colombia, where there might be uh, girls, but it's a pretty big city, right? So that's, uh, but I, I need to go to Medellin just to check it out. I was there many years ago, and the, the climate wasn't on my mind. I was just passing through. Okay, Andy Graham, hobo traveler, trying to say where eternal spring is. 
Uh, Boquete, Panama is, uh, I think, pretty built up and pretty almost too, uh, too developed. Okay, thank you, David. We can